in Boston at the time, uh, where guys would play in these various clubs. And then when it was closing time, they'd get together somewhere else, somewhere else in some other bar that was already closed, and just play together because they enjoyed playing. Uh, if uh, three tenor saxes showed up, it might turn into what's called a cutting session, where they attempt to outdo each other. But the beauty of it all is, uh, they learn from each other. They'll play some kind of a lick, and another guy thinks, well, that's, that's pretty neat. I'm going to copy that. <laughs> and what I'd like, uh, like you to do, would you introduce the guys and tell a little bit about each one? Sure. This is Carl Sterk, a good friend of mine. Hello, everybody. Uh, and uh, all of us here have been friends with uh, Bob for a long time. And uh, we really welcome the opportunity to come and play as we have in the past and, and show you a little bit of uh, what we like to do. All really stemming from Bob, who's an inspiration for us. And been doing it a little bit longer than we had. But uh, we're trying to catch up. And so um, Bob and I first met at the Isles of Shoals off of New Hampshire, where uh, many of us uh, have met, and um, I uh, sat in behind him as he was playing sax and began to try and keep up with him. And uh, I went on to uh, have a career in the music business as a songwriter and record producer and all those sorts of things. Uh, but uh, playing jazz was really my first love and still is, so uh, anytime I get an opportunity like this, uh, I, I jump at it. Um, Al Hospers here, our bassist, is our, our newest friend. Uh, we've only known him for 10 years or so. Um, and uh, uh, he joined in on what we were doing and, and thought it was great. And uh, Al was actually the, the driving force behind us finally getting together again. You know, we all lost touch during the pandemic and wondered where everybody was and how they were doing. And so Al kept saying, we've got to get back together with Bob. That's so great every time we play. And so, uh, we found Bob and Bobby and their family, and uh, here we are. So I uh, uh, very much hope that this won't be the uh, last time. But Al, again, is a veteran musician, a bass player who's began his career as a session player and touring musician in the 1980s all over New York and all over the world, and uh, gone on to do many, many illustrious things. Also a computer genius, that's just a side thing. And, and um, so uh, he's a, another person who now is finding uh, happiness and playing as often as he can all over the New England area. And then our star here, Kemp Harris, our singer uh, and musician, is uh, uh, well known all over the New England area as a, a storyteller, uh, a, a singer and composer of songs and great interpreter of other people's songs of, of every genre. You hear him doing everything from a blues song to a, a Bob Dylan song to a you know, whatever else he has in mind. And uh, he's, uh, we like to call him our national treasure. And uh, we're gonna have him sing a song right now. Um, he chose to start with, uh, is this George Gershwin, right? Yes. This is a beautiful George and Ira Gershwin song, Our Love Is Here To Stay. Okay. Mm -hmm. 